Uh, but right now, on the V11, I feel, whoa, the, see, there's that sugar sand again. Hey, how you doing, Duff here? Hopefully my Insta360 is working this evening. When I last used it, uh, when I last tried to use it, it just kind of uh, hung up on me when I was doing my S18 uh, suspension tweaking. It stopped functioning. It just kind of locked up and I had to pull the battery. So hopefully we're working okay now. Hi. This is a very rare Thursday evening ride. I just, um, Cindy said she had about a half hour until supper will be ready. So I figured I would get out and ride. Why not, man? Right. Get out here on the V11 since I had it with me for the weekend ride at the Greenway and I did not get to actually ride it. So here we are back on the V11. Still feeling fantastic. I have this little remote that came with my long ass eight foot selfie stick that you're supposed to be able to use to start and stop the camera, which would be nice because normally what I have to do is I gotta, I gotta hoist it in here and, and reach for the reach for the uh, button on the camera. It'd be nice just to be able to do it from here. So one of my weekend to-do list projects will be to get that working. And supposedly this button will work with the GoPro and the Insta360. So we'll find out. And it didn't shut off. Oh, I know I, I wanted one, th or there's one thing I wanted to uh, mention. I don't remember which particular video it was I saw of Wrong Way Adams uh, videos regarding the V11. Because he was talking about uh, how he rides the V11 and his suspension setup on the V11. And he said that he rides with um, no pressure in the negative chamber of the V11. And uh, you can do that. You definitely can do that. But the bad part is, is you're gonna get a lot of rebound sensation. You know, the, the pogo sticking that you've heard people describe with the uh, V11, if you do not have it at a, um, if you don't have the negative chamber set up at all, if you have no pressure in there, that, that effect is gonna be really bad. Um, I noticed that myself, but also Ian, when, uh, during his V11 review, he discovered the same thing. He was, he was uh, riding around with no pressure in the negative chamber. And once he put pressure in there, it was like a whole new wheel for him. You know, he was really complaining about the pogo sticking. That can happen where you basically, if you're not paying attention, you can get almost launched off of the V11. I, I believe that's kind of what happened to Sean in New York City, actually, when his uh, V11 ran into the the truck after he got uh, ejected off. You really want to make sure that you have some pressure in that negative chamber. Um, in Motion's official, in Motion's official recommendation is 50 psi, which is kind of odd because that's uh, there's no consideration for uh, rider weight or anything. They just said 50 psi, um, and there's actually nothing in the manual about it either about the negative chamber. Um, what Ian found, and what I've I've also kind of found myself is a safer bet for the negative chamber in the V11 is half uh, whatever your positive chamber pressure is. So in my case, I'm running around 120 PSI in the positive. So I tried to put about negative uh, 60 in the negative. And to me, that feels, uh, that feels just about perfect. So your mileage will vary, but I think you're definitely doing yourself a misservice if you do not put any uh, pressure in the negative chamber on a production V11. So one other thing I wanted to mention, and I've actually, I've been wanting to talk about this several times and I've, uh, I keep forgetting when I'm out on a ride, is once in a while I'll get a comment on my channel on a video saying, oh, Duff, man, the ads, the, the freaking YouTube ads, they're, they're obnoxious, they're ridiculous. To be quite honest, I don't ever even think about YouTube ads because I actually, I pay for YouTube Premium, uh, which among other things, prevents ads from showing when you're watching YouTube, when you're signed on. So I, I haven't seen a YouTube ad in years. Um, but I have never touched the default settings as far as ads go uh, on my channel. Cindy was looking at one of my videos. She was uh, watching, I don't remember which one. I think, I think the uh, video from the weekend. And an ad popped up. And you know, ads pop up when you don't have YouTube Premium. But to my knowledge, I thought that all of the ads that were playing on my channel were the, the skippable type. 
where you can, you know, after five seconds, you hit the skip ad button and you're past it. Well, evidently, I don't know if, the, if this was a change across the board or if it's a change once your channel hits a certain size. By default, it was also uh, working in non-skippable video ads, which can be 30 seconds or more. Well, you, you're just like, you're a, you're a, a captive uh, to these ads and that kind of sucks. I, I didn't like it just in the, the brief period that I was watching the video uh, on, under Sydney's account. So I went in and I uh, changed the default for my channel to no longer include non-skippable video ads because, uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I don't know if it will negatively affect um, monetization on my channel, but um, I'd rather not be a huge pain in the ass to people that are watching my videos. So, yeah, no more non-skippable ads. Okay, so I'm riding along uh, one of the canals here. This connects the, the two dead-end roads. Connects them together, and that might be solid water there. It is. All right, well, we, we don't want to get muddy sneakers. These are my sneakers I wear to the gym. So let's see if I can jump across, and we can roll the V11 across without major problems. Here we go. Oh, okay, eh, not too bad. Other news, I don't know how appropriate it is on on this channel. Well, it's appropriate because on my main channel, I talk about whatever the hell's going on. Um, I um, recently purchased an Oculus Quest 2. Um, Mickey, Mr. EVX, has been talking up his Oculus Quest for a long time. Um, he really enjoys it. He uses it for all kinds of stuff. And... Um, I saw the Quest 2 was announced, so I pulled the trigger. It's supposed to be uh, showing up in November sometime, so we'll see. It'll be my first time seriously uh, entertaining the world of VR. I really, I've, I've experienced it briefly, uh, but I've never had a VR headset, so yeah, we'll see how it is. All right, so even though this, this little grassy path, you know, has a decent amount of uh, little bumps and stuff in it. It's uh, pretty inconsequential in the V11. It still feels very comfortable. I did want to see if I could get out in the road and see if I could get this thing up to 30 miles an hour for the first time. Never done that because it is supposedly unlocked to 35. We got some soft sand going on here. Um, yeah, so maybe we'll do that and by the time we're done having fun, it'll be time to go back. We'll see. Camera wasn't rolling, but I just kind of slid out in that ditch, laid the V11 down. I stayed upright. Uh, V11's a little dirty, but I think it's no, no worse for the wear otherwise. Sorry about that, Mr. V11. Continuing on, I think this might go all the way up to um, Immokalee Road. It's kind of looking that way. I've never, I've never been uh, on this path for, for this long. For sure. All right, up here's some more sandy shit. Let's see if we can stay upright. Oh yeah, this is this is is really uh, soft sugar sand here. I don't feel like dumping it again. Now, if I had the Sherman, which hopefully I will, I don't know if it'll be this month. Maybe by the end of this month. I don't know. We'll see. If I had the Sherman, it might be able to actually roll through that um, without a major problem. Maybe that'll be. You guys remind me. Remind me to test that sometime. Say, uh, Duff, don't forget to do the soft sugar sand test on the Sherman. Oh, yeah, I've never been this way because I definitely do not recall ever seeing this fence. That's a, a serious fence. With very private property. They do not want you on there. Except there's no side barrier <laughs> to that fence. So getting on it, getting on the property would not be very difficult. In a normal EUC, this would be a, a, a teeth-chattering experience and uh, much more um, demanding of my legs to act like shock, shock absorbers. Uh, but right now, on the V11, I feel, whoa, whoop, see, there's that sugar sand again. I saved it. Um, on the V11, it feels good. And I suspect it would feel good on the S18 as well. Yeah, this whole, I don't know, 50 to 100 yards is all chewed up, loose sugar sand. There are a few things that EUCs, at least in my experience, 
EUCs like less than loose sand like this. All right, so we're gonna just ride up to, ride up to Immokalee Road from here. Almost looks like they um, have a space cleared out for a house back there. Well, I'm lucky that I decided to do this after we've had a, uh, maybe three or four days of not serious rain because this trench would be flooded out if I tried to do this a week ago, so. Uh, that's a little, yeah, I'm just, this just took me uh, way east of my street. A new adventure. And people speeding as they always are. It's actually some rain ahead there for sure. There is rain to the west and to the south. Just going down the side street here quickly. Just want to see if I can get the app to show that I hit 30. It said uh, my, my high speed on the ride up until this point was 24 uh, miles an hour. Let's see how good my spidey sense is for speed. Feeling pretty fast. See what we pull off here. I've never cro quite crossed 30 on on um, the V11. Oh man, 28.7, so close. All right, we gotta we gotta do it. Gotta do it. All right, there's some people down there, so I don't. I have plenty of room to do it here, so we'll turn around. Cue the high-speed music. Oh, we're into the wind this way, though. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got to turn around. Cut the high-speed music. I, I, I wouldn't be able to even hear the speed warnings going this direction. Wind is pretty bad. Can you see those uh, gray clouds over there? We'll let this truck go. We will turn around, and we will try one more time to cross 30 miles an hour. Really don't like have, not having uh, real time speed. All right, that seat of the pants that felt like 30. Let's see what we got. Oh, whoa. 32.4. All right. Officially the fastest that I've ever gone on a non Gotway or veteran wheel. Good job, V11. Heading home. We want to get home before it rains. We don't want to get stuck out in the rain again for uh, reasons you may or may not realize. Must beat the storm. Must beat the storm. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for a very rare Thursday evening ride. Just a little quick hitter. Good way to kind of reset, you know. You see riding is better than Prozac sometimes, right? So yeah, it's fun. Um, sure, we'll get some riding in this weekend. I'm not sure about the plans exactly, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Um, if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up if this is your first time visiting the channel. Please think about subscribing, and if you're going to subscribe, you can always hit the notify bell, which is over there somewhere, I think in 3D. Oh yeah, we're in 3D, by the way. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. That's all I have for you for now. Hope you have a great upcoming weekend, and that's it. Buff Man out. Check it out. You're right in the middle of my Halloween inflatable farm. I'm going to turn them on. Can't fall down. What the hell? Hey. Told you it was windy. They're inflating. There's a total of five inflatables in our collection, our Halloween collection. Coolest one probably is this spider right here. 
That's uh, seen better days. It's not inflating so great anymore. You know, its head moves, sort of. And then up front we have up front we have a 12-foot Grim Reaper. Wow. I don't know how well you can see it over there. 12-foot Grim Reaper. Scary, scary tree guy. He was. Uh, I think we added him last year. And our last inflatable. I think this is my oldest one. This is this is Black Cat, who again has some inflation issues. So I have to uh, kind of tie him to the post. Yeah. All right, yeah. He looks scary, right? And uh, if it was darker, you could see that we also have a uh, projector that projects uh, Halloween-y things on the wall. That's it.